So over here, you can see that I have some table data and let's say I want the sum of all the price lists right here. So in that case, what you can do is you can go around into create and then what you can do is you can click on the query design area right here. Then once you go around and click on SQL, what you can do is you can type in the query right here. So I'm just going to go around and type in select right here. And now what I want is I want to get the sum. So I'm just going to go around over here and type in sum right here, then type in the column name. In this case, I want price uh, right here. So I'm just going to go around and type in prices like this and close the bracket out over here. So once I do that, I'm going to press enter and type in from just like this. And I got to type in the table name over here. So I'm just going to type in the table name as from prices right here, just like this. So once I do this, I'm going to end out the uh, query by using the semicolon right here, just like this and go around over here on to query design and hit run. And you can see that you have the sum of all the prices right here. What you can also do is add in a where condition over here. So to add in a where condition, I'm going to go to SQL view and I'm going to erase out the semicolon that I have right here. So I'm just going to go around and press enter and type in where just like this. So over here, what I want is I want to add out the prices of let's say expert ID one right here, just like this. So I'm just going to go around over here on to query three right here, just like this. So I'm just going to go around and say uh, queries right here. And I'm going to go around and type in expert ID just like this. Uh, and I'm going to say equal to one. So this is how I want to filter out the data right here. So this is what I have. So you can see that I'm going to type in select some price uh, from prices where expert ID is equal to one. So if I were to go to query design and hit the run button, you can see that it only collects out the data from the expert ID one area right here and then sums it up and displays out the result right here, just like this. So that is how you can use the sum syntax inside of um, uh, MS Access by using SQL. So hope you guys learn something as always. And as always, please like, comment, share and subscribe.